Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the books that I am currently reading. As many of you may know, I don't do TBR videos on my channel because I just don't like how restricting they are for me. I'm very, very moody when it comes to my reading. I change my mind all the time. Sometimes I'm halfway through a book and I decide to pick up something else, and I also read like five books at the same time. And currently, I am actually in the middle of five different books, and I just wanted to share all of those with you. So the first book that I'm currently reading is one that just came out very recently, and that is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This is the next book in the Simon Verse, so it's kind of like a companion slash sequel to Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda. Most of you probably already know, but Simon was turned into a movie recently called Love, Simon. I've seen it four times. It's incredible. I'm in love with it. <laughs> but this book also follows the same characters within that universe and within Simon's story. This book specifically follows Leah, Simon's best friend, and in here we get to read about some of her adventures. I've loved both of Becky Albertalli's previous books. The Upside of Unrequited was also fantastic, and I was so, so excited when I heard about this release, and I'm so happy to to finally have it and be reading it now. I've just barely started this one. I'm only like five pages in. I just started it like right when I got it because I was so excited, but I haven't had the time to keep going yet. But I can't wait to pick this one up and see how the story and the characters develop because I already have such an attachment to these characters that I know that it's definitely going to be an enjoyable read for me. I'm pretty sure you have to read Simon before you read this one because this will definitely spoil things that happen in Simon. And all I know about this one is that Leah is bisexual, but she hasn't told anyone about it yet. And she just doesn't really know how to tell her friends and how to approach this yet. So it's kind of her dealing with that and her dealing with feelings that she might be developing for one of her friends. So yeah, um, I'm very, very excited for this one, if you couldn't tell already, and I can't wait to pick it up. The next book that I'm currently reading is actually one that I'm listening to on audiobook, and that is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I actually have like an arc of this as well, but I left it at school, so I don't have it with me right now to show you all. But like I said, I've been listening to this one on audiobook, and I've been loving it so far. I actually just started it yesterday, and I'm already like more than halfway through. It's like a very short audiobook. It's only like five hours, and the book itself is only like 200 something pages, so I'm gonna get through it very, very quickly. I only have like an hour of the audiobook left, I think, and I really don't want it to end because it's such an incredible story. If you don't know what this book is about, it follows the story of this boy named Justice who starts writing these letters that are addressed to Martin Luther King, and it's basically about him trying to come to terms with and understand what it's like living in the world as a black man and the way that like people treat him because of his race. He goes to a very prestigious private school and he's surrounded by a lot of white students who are very prejudiced and really don't understand his situation at times, and and it's incredible so far. Like, it's broken my heart so many times. I've cried several times. It's just fantastic. The writing is beautiful. The story itself is just really, really moving, and I love the fact that it's written in part in letters, and then the other parts are just, like, the narration of what is happening to Justice and what he's doing and his interactions. And I just really, really like that format. It's very unique and I think very useful for what the story is trying to do. But yeah, I've been loving this one so, so much. It's a very heavy, hard-hitting book, um, and it's not easy to read sometimes because of the subject matter, but I think it's fantastic and a really, really important book. So I can't wait to finish this one up. The next book I have to show you all is one that I haven't technically started reading yet, um, but I know that it's going to be like one of the very next books that I pick up, so I'm including it here anyway. Um, and that is The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. Leslie Walton is one of my favorite authors because she's written one of my favorite books, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, which is a book I talk about a lot. It came out in 2015, I think, or 2014, I don't know, a while ago, and I read it around the time that it came out and that was her only book for a while and then she finally released another novel and I'm so so excited to read this one. First of all can we talk about how beautiful this book is because literally it doesn't have a dust jacket this is just like the cover which I didn't know before I bought it and the inside has red end pages and then it has red sprayed pages as well like the design of this book is just gorgeous and I'm in love. <laughs> but despite that, the story itself, I honestly like don't know too much about it and I really want to keep it that way because I like going into fantasy books, magical books without knowing much. You all know what I'm like. <laughs> all I really know is that it's about this girl named Nora Blackburn and she lives on this island. And then one day they find this mysterious book that ends up making people like sprout these fern tattoos. I don't know exactly what that means. I just know that it causes like havoc and I don't want to know anything else. I just know it's going to be magical and have really lush and lyrical writing and that's all I want so I cannot wait to pick this one up. 
I know I'm saying that for literally every single book, but that's just because I'm so excited to read all of these. Like there are so many books I wanna read right now. I'm genuinely overwhelmed, <laughs> but this is definitely towards the top of my list because I loved The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I know what an incredible writer Leslie Walton is, and I'm pretty sure that this is not gonna disappoint me. The next book I have here is one that I started reading just a couple days ago, and I'm already super invested, um, and that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. From what I understand, this book is a YA mystery thriller, and I don't usually read mystery thrillers if you haven't noticed. Um, I tend to stick to fantasy and contemporary mostly, but I really wanted to try this one out because I'd heard that it gotten really good reviews and it sounded really interesting to me. I'm about 50 pages into this book so far, but from what I understand about the story, it takes place in two separate timelines. So it takes place at this school called the Ellingham Academy, and it's basically like this prestigious school for like the brightest and smartest minds. And in one of the timelines in 1936, there is a student who attends this academy and she ends up dying at this school because there is this like serial killer. I think that they're a serial killer. I'm not positive, but they've like murdered people and they leave these notes that are signed truly devious. And then the other timeline takes place in our time and it follows around a new student at the school named Stevie Bell. And I'm assuming she's going to like kind of uncover this mystery of truly devious and we're going to find out more about who that person is and what they're doing and what their objective is. And so far it's really good. It's really suspenseful and I'm loving it. Like I said, it's not the type of genre that I usually read and that's not because I don't like mystery thriller. I really like suspenseful like shows and movies and stuff. Like I watch that all the time so I don't know why I don't read them very often. But I'm hoping that picking this up will kind of introduce me more into the genre. So I'll read more adult mystery thriller as well and hopefully there'll be some more YA mystery thriller too. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving this so far. It's taken me completely by surprise in the best way possible. And I also heard that this is actually going to be part of a series. So I think this might be a trilogy. I'm not positive, don't quote me, but I think it's going to be part of a series, which I think is really, really exciting. And the very last book that I'm currently reading is one that I also just started, and that is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. This is a book that I saw Emma from Emma Books mention on her channel, and she gave it a really good review, and she really, really loves this one. I think she said it's her favorite mental health book that she's ever read. I'm not positive, but I know she really enjoyed it. And the synopsis of it sounded interesting to me, and I just really liked what she had to say about it, so it made me want to pick this one up, which is why I did. The story follows this 16-year-old girl named Elizabeth who has just entered treatment for an eating disorder. And then while she's at treatment, she starts receiving these like mysterious packages from someone that she does not know. She thinks it might be her ex-boyfriend or somebody else. And so it has like a little bit of a mystery in there as well, but I just thought that the topic was really important and it was something that I wanted to read about. And since Emma really liked this one, I thought that this would be a good one to pick up and try out. So I, like I said, just started reading it. I'm only like 10, 15 pages into this one. And so far so good. I don't really have any opinions because I'm not that far into it, but I'm really hoping to enjoy this one. All right, so there you guys have it. That is it for all of the books that I am currently reading. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this video or if you're also currently reading them. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Also, if you're not reading any of these books or you haven't read any of these books, I would love to know what books you're currently reading so I can figure out what I should read next. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.